Zero, Jason Green on our left. Number one, Stephen Ashworth on our right. Start with the statement from head coach Greg McDermott. I mean, it's a historic game uh, for our program. Um, I <laughs> told the team in the locker room, we had Marcus Foster in there and, and Ryan Hawkins are back there on break from overseas. And <clears throat> it's really a culmination uh, of a lot of work by a lot of people uh, over, over a long period of time. Uh, to give these guys the opportunity to, to wear this uniform and play in front of the crowd we were able to play in front of tonight. Uh, I just couldn't be more proud of them. Um, you know, the, the offense is one thing, but um, you know what they did defensively as well, that, you know, <clears throat> to limit, limit, limit Caravan and Spencer to one for five from the three-point line uh, is a really a credit to our guys and their discipline, uh, their focus, and even when we got off that bad start, uh, I didn't see any fear. Uh, no concern in our faces. We just, you know, continue to play. So uh, <coughs> we talked about rebounding. Um, you know, we found a way to be even there, and we talked about live ball turnovers. And you know, only seven turnovers. There are nine turnovers. So uh, we played a really, really good game, and we beat an incredible team. Uh, you know, a team that has a legitimate chance uh, <coughs> to win a national championship. Uh, but uh, you know, we're we're pretty good as well. Questions for the student athletes first. For the All Star, uh, <laughs> you, know, you can't be crazy for moments like this. It's going, so it's going through your mind, you right? Yeah, right now. Uh, honestly, I mean, uh, I do have to give a shout out to my nephew. Um, he's two and a half, and he's born with brain aneurysm. And my uh, older brother and sister in law were hoping to be at this game, but he needed an emergency surgery and. Unexpected, he's going to be in the hospital for a few more weeks dealing with that. And so tonight, I uh, I wrote his name Clayton on uh, my wrist, and uh, our family is obviously having him in, in our hearts and minds a lot. And so to be able to have a game like this against a high caliber team like that, uh, just grateful to God for for those experiences, uh, those opportunities. Uh, and big shout out to my boy Clay, and I know he's going to keep fighting, and he's doing good. <coughs> Jason. Omaha kid and to be a part of the first win over an 18 on one team in history and to make the plays that you did, I'm just, I'm just proud of you for that. Um, I feel a lot of pride right now. I mean, being born being born and raised here and uh, just being able to play in front of my hometown, all the people I grew up with, uh, had a bunch of my friends at this game, like my whole family was at this game. And uh, just being able to play, like have a performance like that, especially against the number one team in the country and making history like this is just, just such an unbelievable feeling of still pride. Stevie, can, can you take us through that stretch in the first half? I mean, you guys collectively couldn't couldn't miss for those few minutes, but it, it seemed like whatever look you got, you liked, and, and then you obviously made them as well. Yeah, obviously when, when you're in your home gym, there's just a feeling of confidence, and, and the fans were a huge part of that tonight. Uh, they were definitely a home court advantage, and so I think in that first half we got on a little, a little heater, and a big thing for us coming into the second second matchup against them was that we needed to rebound the ball and especially get live ball re like rebounds so that we could we could try to push and transition. Too many times last game there was a lot of tip outs and that was slowing our transition break. And so I think during that stretch we got a lot of stops in a row and then guys are so unselfish in the transition and, and we made plays for each other and I think that's a credit to you know having eighteen assists to only seven turnovers and um, and so it was super fun and it's just uh, an incredible experience to be in a, in a place like CHI when you're going to run like that. You go down 7 nothing to start off, and then I think 11-3. What was the conversation in that huddle, and what was the mentality to just stick with it and go on the run that you did in the first half? I mean, a lot of it was that uh, we'd been there before. Uh, teams have, have jumped on us before. It's, it's nothing new. Keep the, you know, keep the things that we're trying to focus on at the forefront, one play at a time, one possession at a time. And, uh, it's nice in college basketball when you get four minute media timeouts, you know, you can focus on, all right, let's try to win this next four, try to win the next four, the next four. And I think that especially in that first half, after their great start, we're able to relock in and, and focus on that. And, and I think the time's changed for us. Spencer had six points on the shots. What did you, what did you, what were you able to execute out there to make him <coughs> just not really much of an option offensively for him? I mean, great scouting. Uh, from all the coaching staff to the red team to getting us prepared so that we knew what plays were coming and what we needed to do to execute on defense. And then, I mean, you got to give a huge credit to Trey and Culp trying to guard that ball screen two on two because we weren't really helping off their other guys. And, and they did a really good job, which allowed us to 
stay attached and, and not lose their great shooters in, in the flow of the offense. And so it's a huge team effort when, when things like that happen. And, and I think as we watch the film, we'll be able to learn from some of those things for sure. Jason, how, how big was it for you to just kind of see your minutes increase over the past couple of weeks? I, I don't think you played much Saturday, and, and then to be able to, to bounce back and have the impact you did tonight. Mm -hmm. So it means a lot to me. I mean, I know it's all just a big process. I just have to stay, just to keep my head down and keep working and keep doing what I need to do to, to get my minutes. And I know that they'll eventually come. But, I mean, it, it just, like I know some games I might not get in as much as other games, but that's, like I trust the coach. That's just what they're doing. I trust my teammates that trust everything that's going on. So I mean, with me, I just I just have to just stay focused, stay locked in, and, and just be ready whenever my name is called. So, is what kind of work went into having the confidence to take and make those threes tonight when that's not something you've done yet as a Blue Jay? Right. So it's just like every every day after practice, uh, DK grabs a bunch of our coach DK grabs a bunch of uh, players and we'll just shoot. We'll do like race to the corner, lift, drift back to the corner, stuff like that. So I mean, it's just after every practice, and we also do. Shooting drills during practice, which helps me get prepared. And every rep, you got to be a game rep. And I mean, out there, it really showed that it, that was working. So two more for guys. What what was the ending like for both of you guys? Walk us through what you were doing and, and what went through your mind as they poured onto the court. You know, I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, once that buzzer was like starting to go off, I mean, I mean, it was even before that. I kind of knew that the game was was over with probably about a minute left. But I mean. I was just really excited because it was this our first ever win, first ever win over a number one seed, and like obviously we've only been here for two years, but I can just I can just feel how how important that is to everyone that's here and everyone that's been here and the people that have preceded me on the teams and things like that. So I mean, it just it was just a crazy feeling for me. Hey Steven, uh, you shot, but uh, you, you had a long three pointer to uh, start like a personal thirteen point run of yours uh, there in the first half. Uh, what I mean, was that a heat check or, or what was that? Because how, how far do you think you were out on that one that uh, started it? Yeah, I don't know. I think I only hit one before taking that, uh, so I wouldn't quite call it a heat check. There are a few others that were heat checks, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but like Jason yeah. said, there's a lot of there's a lot of practice that goes into those moments. And Coach Matt gave me a hard time the other day about he asked me to do a certain drill, and I did the drill pretty well. He'll tell I'll let him tell you if I what drill it was. But then I asked him, what else should I do? And he said, well, if I did that, well, I might go to the locker room. Or you can practice some of these flyers that you like to take and transition from 30 feet. <laughs> and so I did. I practiced some of those, and I think that that was uh, the, the fruits of that practice. Thank you, guys. Thanks, y'all. I told him he had to make five, in a row, or five from each spot without me missing two in a row. And he made 33 straight. How many? 33 straight. And I told him to back up. Thanks, Coach. Hey, uh, yeah, after the tough start, I mean, they got going, but you know, they were up probably looked pretty comfortable with the push up turnovers that they were getting on the offensive glass. How much does Paul Fraser stabilize things? Like, just you know, scoring at the rim. <coughs> he, he always stabilizes things. You know, he's. <clears throat> He's so impactful back there, just like Klingon is. Like it's, you know, but we kind of told our guys like, don't do it. You know, we're not we're not challenging that dude at the rim. Uh, we did at their place. He smacked a couple off the board, or, or uh, Samson did as well, or Samson Johnson, <clears throat> and uh, that turns into a transition <coughs> basketball. So we were very uh, specific in our preparation that we're not challenging them at the rim. If we can pull them away from the basket, so be it. Uh, but uh, you know, Calk was he was awesome. Coach, pretty cool way to get your 600th win. What, what do you just reflect on, and what would you tell yourself after win number one if you were to look at where you're at right now? Well, first of all, I'm old. Uh, <laughs> you've got to be in it a long time uh, to coach enough games to do that. And, you know, I've coached in some good places, uh, had some really good players play for me. Um, you know, obviously, this is one I'll, <clears throat> I'll never forget uh, because of, you know, how it transpired and how good the team was when we were playing. One of the best crowds I think that we've ever had here, um, but you know, as I said earlier, there's a lot of guys that have played for me here uh, <clears throat> that have put us in a position to win a lot of games uh, because they sacrificed it. You know, they not everybody wants to play the game the way that we play it, uh, unselfish and selfless. And, uh, but we've got a group here that's pretty bought into that. How how, how big? I mean, look at what Jason was able to do. I mean, it just impacts all over the floor. Like 
rebounds, threes. Yeah, he, he's, he, he's, he's continued to get better. And, you know, he's, he's stayed with himself. And obviously, some, some tough times when you're not playing and you're on the scout team. And, um, <clears throat> but, you know, as I've told him, um, you know, during that time, you just got to keep working. It's a process. And, and he didn't play much at Butler. <clears throat> the, the matchups, I just didn't feel were great. Uh, but I actually, I texted him the other night and said, hey, you, you've got to get ready. This is, you're going to have a chance to shine in this game. Because I just felt caravan rebounding defense was going to be so important in this game. And <clears throat> I mean, the play he made when he fell down and blocked that three-point shot, I mean, one of the um, one of the better hustle plays. I remember Ricky Kreklow making an incredible one years ago, and he remembered the play. But that one was right there to that. Uh, you know, he just he, he ran his tail off and came in and you know blocked a, a shot at a critical time. Now, can you can you talk about <coughs> Stephen's defense and, and how how far that's come and, and what he did against Spencer? It's, it's incredible. Uh, you know, even when you, uh, <coughs> you you watch in preparation, you watch the last UConn game. And he did a good job on Spencer and, and that, and that probably started his belief and his ability to be able to do this. Um, but to be able to, you know, Spencer never stops, so that means Stephen never stops. And yet he's got, then he's got to run the team, and he's got to make shots, and he's got to, you know, once again get three assists and only one turnover against one of the best defenses in the country. He's just, uh, and <clears throat> what you see is what you get. I mean, the guy doesn't have bad days. Um, he's, he's a great leader. He's been a great fit uh, for this group. And you know, I'm, I'm really proud of how he's progressed, and you know, and how he fought through trying to figure out where are these shots coming from, what's my role in this team need to be. Uh, <clears throat> but you know, I don't think his belief in himself ever wavered, and I know my belief in him has never wavered. All right. Um, <coughs> you made a lot of history, at Creighton. Um, you talked about this being a historic uh, game. Uh, what, what does this game mean? Uh, I mean, it means a lot just because we've never done it. You know, we've uh, we had an opportunity there uh, when they were ranked number one. We didn't play very well. I know we played Villanova a couple times when they were number one. Uh, probably Gonzaga once. <coughs> um, but you know, to finally do something. Anytime you do something, nobody's done. I mean, it's something these guys will never forget. It's something that these, every fan that was here tonight uh, is never going to forget the enthusiasm and the passion that was in that building uh, tonight. So. Uh, and you know, for I'm I'm already looking, you know, one game at a time. But you're also we're at this we're at the stage of the season where every win matters as you prepare for the Big East tournament and the NCAA tournament. Uh, you know, you want to position yourself as, as best you can. But th that that crowd was absolutely incredible. Uh, and we've had some good ones, and you know, I think of senior night for Doug and Grant, Johannes, Ethan. <laughs> it was pretty special. But um, it was rocking in there tonight, every bit as good as it was that night. Did it? Admit, did it did it make a difference that it was UConn defending national champs too? Um, and maybe, you know, did, did you guys really know I mean, how good you are this year? I mean, we've always believed we're pretty good. And, you know, you know we lost two starters. Uh, so we had, and we brought in a transfer, and Mason's progressed, and Jason's now progressing, Bellows playing a different role. And it takes time. And, and basketball is not perfect. And, you know, you. We beat the number one team. Were they at their best tonight? No, probably not. When they watched the film, did it have something to do with us? Absolutely. Purdue losing at Ohio State. You know what happens? Those are two really good teams that a lot of people think are going to play for a national championship. Uh, <clears throat> but it's it's a make shot, miss shot game, and you know our defense, I thought, made them take the shots that we wanted to take, and they didn't make a lot of them. And you know we we made some threes. Jason knocks in a couple. Uh, so you know I'm just. You know, to score 85 points in 58 possessions against that defense, um, that's pretty special. Does this change your opinion? Uh, does this change your opinion <coughs> on maybe how, how good you are going forward? If, especially if the I, I, I've, <coughs> never, I've never had an opinion that we weren't very good going forward. Oh, that's, I mean, that's the fans' job. You mean better, job. maybe, or no, uh, a bench? Was, I'm not surprised better. we won this game. Okay. Um, you know, and, and you know, UConn has been on an amazing run, um, and <coughs> you know they're. We're pretty good at offense. We're pretty good at defense, and we get pretty. I got some tough guys in that locker room as well, and we beat a heck of a team. We beat we beat a great program uh, that obviously they're doing all the right things to be where they're at to win a national championship last year, and now be back in a position as a as a one seed with a with, with a bunch of new faces. Is credit to Coach Hurley and and you 
you know, what they're doing at UConn to make sure their program's at a championship level. Just hey, Matt, did, you feel like, did, you, did you feel like you guys, just the way you've been playing the last week or 10 days, that you might have been set up pretty well to, to win this game just because of the flow you've been in? I don't know if you ever, you know, when you when I watched that Marquette-UConn game, I, I got to admit I wasn't feeling real warm and fuzzy <laughs> about our chances. Uh, but uh, offensively, we found our flow a little bit better, especially in transition. Uh, and, and, and while we only had four fast break points tonight, a lot of it was secondary stuff. Maybe not in the first five or six seconds, but it's it's an advantage that we created in the first five or six seconds that led to a pass or another pass that got us an open shot. So while it's not credited as fast break points, we had a lot that we got because we got out and we got stops and we were able to put some, some pressure on them. And again, you know, the fact that we played without Baylor for eight or nine minutes the first half and we're able to stretch the lead, um, you know, real credit to this group. Just to, to go back to the government <coughs> game real quick, I know it didn't end things by any means, but how how much of a pop do you feel like Mason's play at the beginning of the second half just to allow you guys to throw the first punch and separate him for the How much is that? Yeah, I mean, he got behind the defense, he got the layup, um, and then we had we had drawn, drawn up a design play. I mean, to be honest with you, Jason played so well, my thought was, we're probably going back to Jason pretty quick, so while Mason's in there, let's let's get him a shot because he's great at it. Um, and we executed a great hit the shot at the top of the key, so then we rolled with him a little longer. Um, but you know, after not playing great in the first half, I thought he he was hugely impactful to start that second half. Thank you, Rob. I'll talk about this all night. I'm not in any hurry to go anywhere. I guess uh, you mentioned not trying to challenge Samson and Donovan, but that. You guys made some really great selfish plays along the baseline to find the other side of the floor and kind of get them rotating out. How, well, how did you guys see? Yeah, especially when they started to run us off the three point line after we had it. Uh, we got into the seams and uh, were able to make a pass that usually led to the, to the assist. Um, but I'm proud of our guys. It's hard to attack the rim and, and in your mind know that Mac's going to go berserk if you shoot that shot and keep playing it. Uh, but, you know, we drew him, we shot fake, we passed fake. And we're able to play downhill as a result. Pack, did you get caught up in the storm? I didn't. I got the hell out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm too old. But it, it's, it's great to see. I mean, our, our students were here early. Uh, they were into it from the jump. Um, and like I said, the crowd the crowd was absolutely incredible. It's a, it's a night that uh, our guys will never forget. What did you think of the adjustment to sing the national anthem when they? <laughs> hey, you work. adapt and adjust, man. Yeah. If something doesn't work, you go to you go to Plan B. So. I felt bad for the guy that was out there. Hopefully we get him back here and give him another shot. Thanks. Thanks, Max.